what's happening, what's going on. We are on our way to Sandusky, Ohio, which we are going to go visit the uh, Sandusky RV Resort. So, and it happens to be our hometown. So, uh, the wife's birthday this weekend, so happy birthday to her. Um, she's right there. Hi. So, we are going up there. Uh, we always wanted to go check it out, so what a perfect opportunity for birthday weekend. Hey, let's go up there and check it out. I can kick it and put some family members and you know, set a campfire and go in. Uh, my high school was in the first round of the playoffs, I believe, so I'll go check them out. I probably won't do any recording, so you probably won't see them guys, but that's all right. We're going to go and uh, support them guys if possible. So, hey, when we get there, Hello. We'll go see. You'll see what we see. Alright, later. Just got in here pulling into Sandusky, Ohio, as you see the signs that we are uh, pulling in. So, um, we came down Route 4, actually, and we are getting off our exit. 138 towards some dusky Norwalk. Um, around 250. So, you know, you're coming around here and uh, when you come around, you're going to take a right. So, but if you don't know, um, some dusky is between Cleveland and Toledo. Also known for Cedar Point, Kalahari, uh, Great Wolf. Is here now. Uh, raised the time when I came, when I was here, there wasn't none of that there. I mean, Cedar Point, but that was it. So, here we go. So, also, um, RV Resorts is really right across from um, Kalahari. So, it's real easy to find uh, once you get into town. You know, it's nobody heard of them. Where's Kalahari at? And it's, it's literally like right across the street here. You will see in a minute. Um, also, too, while I'm here, I am going to show you around the town a little bit, you know. Uh, take you around by the lake. Show you a couple of things. You know, this town has really came up since I was raised here. But, you're going to like it. I mean, good Good time to come kicking in with the kids. That's so you got Cedar Point, you got Kalahari, you got Great Wolf. If you get a chance, come go to Toffs. Ice cream, oh, that's some of the best ice cream you can get right there. You know what I'm saying? But we are coming up here close to the entrance. And um, you kind of got to watch it. If I remember right, there's really not a uh, marking signs in this direction until you get real close. So here we go. So if you're, if you're floating and you don't pay no attention, you're going to go right past it. But we are here at the Sandusky RV Resort in Sandusky, Ohio. And I got to find out. I'm about to pull up over here. And uh, let's go check in. And once we do that, we'll get right back with you. All right, later. What's going on? How you doing? We are here. <laughs> at the Sandusky RV Resort. I was looking at my neighbors. Everybody's getting ready to pack up. I didn't do a lot, but we're going to do a quick video. What's going on? How would you guys like it here? We love it. This is our second time here. Okay. So, you come back again? Absolutely. What do you love about it? it the newness of it, the concrete pads, and it's level, and the concrete pad for the picnic table. Yes. That was that's one of the things I like. It's everything is so level, and I've never been to an RV park that actually has a grill, right? The, too, the that grill. you you can grill on it for charcoal. So that's great. And these pads are absolutely 
I didn't have to do any leveling myself. No, not it just, whatsoever. It not just like came. The second time know. we've been here, we were against the wall over there by the mound. Uh -huh. And we backed right up, everything down, and usually you gotta put boards, you gotta roll up on it, perfectly straight. Yeah. And a lot of them and stuff have extra wide aprons so you could park a larger camper in and park your vehicle right next to it. Oh. Yeah, if you noticed over of... there, there's quite a few of them over there. That yeah, have yeah. yeah like, like the fifth wheel, the stuff over there was going on. And yeah. Right, so you could put a bigger fifth wheel on it. Kind of like what that guy did over there, he kind of parked next to it. So they give you yeah. a lot of room, especially if it's a shorter uh, pad. pad uh -huh. They give you a lot of room, that way you can put your vehicle right yeah. next to it. Yes. It's a nice place. Yeah. It's close, close, nice. close to all the attractions. Yes, yeah, too. It's close point, to everything. Putting bay, whatever gets to, whatever. You yeah, yeah. putting bay. And that, that's one of the things, too. <laughs> Over this way <laughs> uh, is Kalahari, which is it's very close to Kalahari. Great Wolf is down the street. If you go down over the bridge, like you said, you can go to Cedar Point. Um, There's a merry-go-round museum. Yeah. Downtown is the merry-go-round museum, yes. And we're we're gun people, so Finn Feather and Fur is right down there. Uh, Lake, Lake Erie, Erie Arms. Arms is right there. Brand new bu building and stuff, and they have guns for sale or whatever. And yeah. if you're a Harley rider, they've got the Harley, yeah, got the the Harley, Harley shops the down the street. street. We also they have, uh, if you guys don't know, they ride Harleys and bikes, <clears throat> like I do. Not a Harley, but I ride a bike. Um, <laughs> They have bike week here. Yes. Um, and it is in, usually end of May, beginning of June. Uh, we didn't, this is the first year we didn't go. Me and my buddies didn't go. But um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. You have a great time. So I thank you guys. You guys be safe and have fun. Yeah, you too. All right. All right. Hopefully, so see much. you again. Yes. All right. Yes. See you. We may see you here next year. Uh, we're going to come. Actually, we're coming Fourth of July weekend. Are you? Yes. Hey, when you retire, you get to do all this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I am. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Right, See you. Have be safe. So yes, it is lovely here. Like I said, everything is concreted. Uh, the post got lights on them at night. Uh, so you like there is a catch and release pond over there behind that outback, stretching a little further down there, and there is the bathroom which they are very clean so what i'm going to do is we are actually got to go out to breakfast because we are packing and leaving and me and my buddies here were having so much fun today i didn't get a chance to record so i'm doing it now but i'm gonna show you the bathrooms and then i'm gonna go up front show you the check-in area and everything that's going on so i'll get right back with you So hey, now we are here, we are looking, and this is down there at the back of the facility, which they do have staff that live here, which is great. So if something goes on, you know, somebody's here to help you out. Um, right across the street over there, that is Kalahari, where that flag is blowing. And look at these, man, these spots are beautiful, so even, clean. And one thing, a good thing too, um, you don't have to look for the trash can. So, 10 o'clock in the morning, if you put your trash bag out by your, um, in front, in your area, in front by the street, they come and pick up your trash, which is wonderful. Um, we did it last night, we're gonna do it today, so it is real good on that. And then we're gonna check out this facility over here, which it looks like it's the laundry room. Cause I really haven't been back here to check this out. So just look at it. So this is the laundry room. Change machine. Are these, let me see. Are these washer, oh they hit washer and dryer, they're stackable. But I see they are out of order right now. So maybe it's something they're doing because of winter is coming up, I don't know. Let's see if anybody's in the bathroom to see how clean the bathroom is. So hold on. Hello? Yo. So nobody's in here. And this, oh, look at this. This is clean. Oh, private wash areas with doors that lock. That is so cool. Handicapped. Wow. 
wow, this is clean. This is nice. A little trash, that's it. Maybe change the area. So, but yes, we are real good. So, that is one of the things, you know, I like about this is it's just so clean. And so far, everybody's been friendly and stuff, and all of the things have been morning, morning. morning. How are you? Like I said, everything has been so just great. So, they are doing a phase two on the camping. So, um, I believe phase two is going to start back there. I don't know when they're actually going to start. You see that guy's over there, he got his trash out there. So, he's getting ready to get it picked up. But yeah, phase two is going back there. Uh, the guys did say they heard some coyotes last night howling back there, way back there. But I'm from here. We never had that problem. So we're good. So check it out. Yes. So um, we're going to go up there and talk to the guys up front for a hot minute. And get their perspective and see a couple things. And I'll get right back with you. So, hey, we are back. I am over there by the main office. Now, they have pickleball courts. They have a play area for the kids right there, which is nice. There's your entrance. Only thing I like, and I'm gonna say something, they need to light that entrance up just a little bit for at night so you can see it at night. But I almost drove past it last night because I, I really couldn't see. Luckily, I, I'm from here and I didn't know where I was going, but you know, you're like, oh, you're not, not knowing where you're going, you could drive past the entrance. But other than that, it's wonderful. So, we're here. This is the main entrance to the park. And over there, you do see the swimming pools. We're gonna do that first, and we're gonna talk to the staff a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna look at the pool real quick. Then we're gonna do a quick talk with the staff. So here we go. So. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I'll be locked. Oh, they, they're not on the job this morning. Look at them. <laughs> I'm just playing. They are so nice around here. It is ridiculously nice. So, thank you. All right. Here we go. So, this, thank you. I'll be in there in a minute. <laughs> this is the pool area. Um,. They do have, look, the handicap chair, the lower men, also for the sauna over there. And that's a nice little area for everybody. And then too, also, last night, if you didn't do the short, see the short, we, um, friends came over, and which is at the widest family, so you really can't call friends. So a family came to see me, and they have an area over here that uh, is nice, it's on AstroTurf. Look at the steam coming off the pool. I mean the sauna. So they have it that you can actually, and let's see if we can get one started. They have this area here you can sit at, and they have the fire pits. And it is so nice. If you see my short um, that was downloaded, you can see us uh, sitting over there buy it last night so this is great and then, like i said there's the park I'm inside the gate so yeah we're i mean we just had a good time man it's just so relaxing it's cool so um let's talk to staff and learn a little bit about the place and what's going on and i get right back with you So we are in the greeting area, which they do have a few minutes to help you out. Especially the hat, I needed it last night. And this is what's going on, it is nice. This spot is very clean, as you see from the bathrooms and showers and stuff. So, hey, tell me your name. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emily. She was so nice. She helped us out. She's been a great, great while we were here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the place? Yeah. So the building itself, we were officially opened on May 1st. 
We are a subsidiary of RBC Outdoors and we are the 10th, 10th or 11th property of all of them. But the most popular one people know of is Catherine's Landing. And so with us being so new, we're just getting buttoned up. <laughs> we do have phase two coming, but that won't be for another couple of years, just so that way we make sure that this is what we want. Now that, that answers the question <laughs> I, I said last year. I knew they were doing a phase two, but I didn't know when, so she didn't answer that question. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be in a few years. We just want to get everything buttoned up first. Um, but then aside from that, it, it's a great place to be. This used to be old farmland, so we don't have lots of trees right now, but it is something we will be working on for next spring. Um, it is a big question we have, but on the bright side, it's great for Starlink uh -huh. or yes. satellites or anything like that. Um, but aside from that, it's, we've, we've got in total about 206 sites. Um, half of our park is actually seasonals and we shut that down in the winter. However, on our side that you were camping on this weekend, we keep it open year round. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yep, so we won't be shutting it down. Everybody will have water, electric, bathhouses will remain open as well. Um, let's see what else I can think of. We also do a bunch of different stays. We offer nightly stays, we do weekly. Those you do get a discounted rate if you stay weekly. We also offer monthly, we offer three months, six months, and seasonals. Now, now what um, discounts do you take? Because mm -hmm. I asked her about my good Sam. They, I believe you do take good Sam. We do take good Sam. Um, let's see, off the top of my head, we do good Sam, we do coast to coast, we do thousand trails, military, and first responders. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, now, there is a little workout area stuff in the back. Can you show me that real quick? Let's show you, see what you guys, this is lovely. So we have our small conference room first. A lot of people like to come up here if they've got work they're doing and they just want to be private. Mm -hmm. um, they're more than welcome to use that. As well as our little workout facility. It's not much, but it's got your basics. Okay. Um, and then if you want to follow me back this way, we've got our little information to tell you a little bit about what's going on around the area. Yeah. And in town, so mm -hmm. good with that. And now you see when we went to uh actually we didn't do Pit Putin Bay, we did uh Kelly's Island. Kelly's Island this past summer. So the video should be out for that so you guys can check that out. And then we've got our little lending library. I know that's a big deal for a lot of our viewers. And our laundry facility. Now this one is a little bit couple more machines than that was in the back which I seen they were either out of order or you shut them down for the winter. I'm thinking it's just out of order right now. Okay. For people to come out and take a look at them. Okay. But other than that, mm -hmm. this is lovely. You got your bathrooms in here. And I showed you outside the kids' areas over there. Mm -hmm. So hey, this in a nutshell. We know we got to, we finally got here and got to show you guys what we see. So hey, we will get with you guys later. All right. So. You seen what we saw? I was gonna go downtown in the other areas, but it was Saturday. I got to watch the Buckeyes. The young lady pissed me off. It is what it is. We won. Um, but I'm glad you came to see what we saw. Um, this is a great, great area to camp at. So I will see you guys later. Thanks. Like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Later. I am downtown Sandusky, so I'm gonna give you some sights tomorrow. But catching up with my old man, because I know he's down here. But here, this is what I miss about Sandusky right here. Look, you got Cedar Point over there. It's calm water at the, at the present time. Yes. Got over there, got some condos over there at the pier. I think that's uh, homeless. Something we're shipping coal mine if I recall right, but it's been a while so I can't, my memory ain't right. And then you go over there, see the point of the old man down here fishing. Doing what he do, doing what he do, you know what I'm saying? It's, it is chilly. But hey, you gotta come down here and check it out. Good luck.
This is the one thing, boy. You get calm. You come home. See that? That's good. Let me see the point. They got hollow weekends in October, so I know that's going on. But yeah. The old man fishing. What up, man? Got him down here fishing. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. We gonna sign out. Get back with you. Look at that skyline right there. Welcome to Sandusky, Ohio. I might have to. You got the camera, might need to be charged. I ain't charged the freaking light since I first got it. Well, how far do you flick it out? Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this home right here, this home. This is what I miss. <laughs> you see, you come out by this water, you know, peace, calm, go fishing. Well, I'm not a fisherman, but you know, Pops is, but I ain't. All this calmness. Gotta love it, gotta love it.